one other, which I'd love to get your opinion on. Yeah. You know, the Canadian Party of yeah. Quebec, I know that, you know, they don't have any members. But look at Eric Duham, who's just on your mm-hmm. show, who's doing the rounds. Yes. The Canadian Party of Quebec has a leader, Colin Standish. Yes. Mm-hmm. They also have money because when you run in the election, you get money for the a certain percentage of votes you have. There is no excuse in the world for that party to have been so invisible the last year and a half. Where were they on Concordia? Why aren't they having any press conferences? Are they, if, if they're going to run again in the next election, they better get their act together. Balarama Holness, also the invisible man. Mm-hmm. Do they only show up during elections, these people? There's so much stuff for them to stand up and speak on behalf of the English community. I'd like to, what, what do you think about those two? Well, I, I agree. It's going to be, you know what? You're giving me an idea. I'll try, we'll try to reach out to Colin Standish or somebody from the Canadian Party of Quebec to see uh, what the status is over there. But at the same time, I, you know, even at the beginning of all this movement before the 22 election, my position is I, I don't think that's the best way to go for the English-speaking community. Uh, I, I think it's to try to unite behind one, one organization, one party. So uh, I agree with your, your, your observation about these two. I know Balarama Holness said he was focusing on his legal career for now. I don't know if he'll be back either municipally or provincially. Or maybe federally, who knows? But the idea here is that you're right, Eric Duham, and we see it every every day here at CJD 800. And I, I I throw the question back to you: Can the Conservative Party of Quebec, can Eric Duham, be that answer for the English speaking Quebecers of Quebec? Well, I can tell you one thing: we had a seminar at the school board just about a hang on, month month and a half ago, uh, maybe two months ago, on Bill 40, mm. and Bonnie Fagedbaum was there. Mm-hmm. You know, she ran yeah. in, in Darcy McGee, she and ran. there was yeah. Eric Duhamel. And she's still she involved with the, with the party. She's still That's very right. much involved. And, yeah, You know, so uh, listen, uh, Mark Perez, who ran in Darcy McGee, who's no longer part of the Canadian Party of Quebec, he's kind of upset the fact that they're so invisible. Mm-hmm. He's there every week doing some sort of uh, event against Bill 96, mm-hmm. speaking out against Concordia and, and, and the McGill situation. Um, and, you know, part of the problem is the, the Quebec Liberal Party, which you've talked about. And yeah. You talked about this morning, and, yeah. and, uh, and Delmar did. I am flabbergasted at the fact that they're sitting here waiting to pick a leader uh, in April of 2025 mm. when the, the next election will already be lost from them. And, uh, you know, it, it, I don't understand who's running the show there. And uh, I don't know what the new M&As are doing. The new M&As who just got in there, yeah. are they speaking up? Are they saying anything in caucus? How could they just sit there and let this happen? That was that's a major low as well for it 2023. Is. The provincial Liberal Party, which really could with a, with a leader, like you said this morning, any leader uh, who would be at least permanent, they'd be up in the polls. But mm-hmm. you know, they're, they're waiting for a miracle. They're waiting for uh, Justin Trudeau to uh, go take a walk in the snow mm-hmm. or call a snap election and hope that Melanie Jolie or someone will become available. But no, they won't be available. They won't be available because regardless of what happens federally, the Mélanie Jolie, the François-Philippe Champagne are going to look at being a player for whoever succeeds Justin Trudeau. They're not exactly. going. They're not going to come in and be the new Jean Charest version or the new Jean Lesage yeah. for for people who remember their history. Uh, having this former federal politician come in and save the Liberal Party of Quebec, I I don't see it happening, especially in the middle of a huge election cycle, where you know in twenty twenty five we're going to have at least. The municipals, we're going to have the federal, and then in 26, we're going to have the provincial. It's going to be a mess trying to run and organize and fund a leadership campaign in the midst of all of this. You, you've you said it completely correctly. And, you know, I would, if I were the Liberal Party, I'd do what they did with Jean Charest many years ago, and I would get on my knees and beg Andre Fortin to change his mind. Mm, because in my opinion, he, as the leader... He's the one that could bring them, maybe not to power in the next election, but maybe they'd get a good minority government with a big vote split. Well, definitely start rebuilding. Start start getting messages out there. And as for the caucus, I appreciate your point. The only thing I'll say is in the defense of the these rookies, the, the yeah. 10 new members— yeah. It takes time to get your footing, especially in the opposition. I've, I, I, that's how I learned. I mean, I was a rookie M and A in the opposition. It is, it is, it takes time to get your footing. But I'm seeing, 
you know, some cause for hope. I mean, I don't know what you think, but, you know, Des McGraw is starting to get her footing. Absolutely. Madouani Kakade in Montréal now, she's getting her footing. Uh, Liz Prass, I thought, it, you know, scored a lot of points during, well, since the October 7th attacks. I mean, she's been very present. Uh, yeah, she's my M&A. And yeah. She's, she's, she, I have to get, she's everywhere. She's at every event. Mm-hmm. Uh, present with her staff so I she's agree. on the ground well, so i maybe mm-hmm. we'll see them you know more more present but i agree with you these rookies have to stand up much much more but uh, because that's the only way but the caucus is clearly not united right now do they want to have uh, you know 10 members in the next election that's where mm-hmm. they're headed if they don't get their act together but uh people can go to the suburban.com mm-hmm. go into columnist look at cohen chatter they could read the rest of my eyes All closed right. Uh, in the paper, and uh, and uh, I'll have my predictions coming up uh, uh, next week. All right, look at look at cheek predictions. Yeah, looking forward to that, Mike. Mike, always a pleasure. Have a great twenty twenty four.